So I have my top six here from JLC. I'm going to have my buddy Donald go over a few of these. Let's start with the Polaris Mariner Mimovox. It's actually an amazing piece. It, it, it is considered the uh, true diver of the collection at 300 meters, water resistant, um, but has the alarm function in this one, um, as well as the date and a rotating internal bezel, unidirectional, by the way. So that's why it's considered the diver in that piece. Absolutely stunning lacquer dial. It's crazy. I chose this because this is a watch that you can wear every single day. It has a complication. Of course, it has the date and then it has the alarm. Um, and it, it just looks good. It looks good doing it. It doesn't look overly complicated, especially when I pull my second watch. You'll see why. Right. Uh, <laughs> but of course, for my second one, I couldn't keep this one off the table. This is the Polaris uh, Perpetual. Perpetual. Right. So obviously it tells you the day, the date, the month, the year, the moon phase. Tell us a little bit. Surprisingly about, thin. As yeah, well. eleven point uh, six. I think it's around eleven point six. Yeah, yeah. Don't fact check me, people out there. But <laughs> he's pretty close. <laughs> um, this is a great watch. I feel like because of the complication. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's something that you can wear every day. Of course. Yeah. Obviously, if you're doing a lot of documentation, who does that now? But. <laughs> You get it, right? You're traveling. I dare you to dress them up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just. <laughs> I a, think you look great either way. It's just a great watch. Well, um, at, a, at a glimpse, you know, you've got. Sometimes I forget what month it is. So. So, so, so yeah, that's that, why I chose that. that. Um, for my third pick, this is the one I feel like is a great one value. One of your favorites, no? I know. I come here, I see this one all the time. Uh, my wife will not let me get it. <laughs> yet. Not yet. Yeah. We're working on it. Yeah. Uh, this is the Master Controller Geographic. Uh, what I like about this is the time zone, right? right? So it's got your local time. It's got your uh, your AM and PM. And then, of course, you've got your travel time. So you literally just turn the crown and you will watch the hour jump from time zone to time zone. That's right. So, Almost I mean, a world timer, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I, I think right. this is called a world timer, right? That's right. That's right. Um, did I miss anything? I was, no. Oh, it's got the yeah, date and the complication. Day, and then the day and night indicator as well. Yeah, and then, of course, 24 the hour clock. Power so, reserve. Right. Power reserve. Uh, I mean, what else do you need from a JLC? But super legible. Yeah, I mean, it's, stuff on there. it's not too busy. You know, like you see a lot of watches where they have the world timer bezel around uh, the edge of it. Right. and. JLC does a good job at kind of hiding that to keep it minimal, so they only show you a few time zones. Right. Um, and I mean, that's just something that nobody's doing, I think. So, no doubt. Uh, for my fourth watch, of course, mm. I had had to do a reverso. The icon. This personally, I'm wearing my own reverso. Um, <laughs> if if I had to redo, right, it would be gold. Right. This is one that is never going to age. It's an icon. This is the mono face, of course. So I feel like for me, the mono is the way to go. And the only real reason is because that was the original design, right? Okay. So now you see a lot of the yeah. duos that have a second time zone, the second second dial it gives you the two looks in one. Um, but I like it because of the design it was designed to have a solid case back and grade it with something special. Um, make it yours. So, well, as long as it isn't copywritten, it oh, can okay. be applied to the back of the watch. Is that, is that what it is? Whatever it is, portraits. Um, you know, if you want to put special messages, engravings, family crests, whatever you want to do. But um, as long as it isn't copywritten, even like if you're an artist and you painted a portrait, you can actually have that portrait applied to the back of the watch. I actually saw just a few days ago. You guys came out with three limited edition watches. Correct. And each of them have a different cityscape on the back. Correct. And those are uh, those are awesome, by the way. I dude. So we're waiting I for Vegas. Yeah, yeah. We're, well, so hopefully we'll uh, we should have uh, something soon for, oh. for us to look at. Um, I won't make any promises yet, but uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Maybe sometime in the future. Of course. Waiting for that. Um, for my fifth watch, you got you can't. Show JLC watches without bringing something from the ultra thin collection. So 
This is, again, the ultra thin, of course, in a perpetual and precious metal. So I really don't need to say more. This is one of the more iconic collections from JLC. Did I miss anything there? Like, no, you hit all, all the nails on the head. So, well, I mean, you could touch on it too. I mean, it would, even though most people would assume that the Reverso is the oldest, installment mm -hmm. of their timepieces it's actually the, the ultra thin, thin. Yeah. yeah it was inspired by the uh the knife uh pocket watch the world's thinnest pocket watch way back when that was 1907. i that's something i never do that <laughs> um you know i am a big jlc guy i think jlc is one of the best watchmakers out there of course i'm not just saying that because i'm sitting in their beautiful showroom but um <laughs> you know when i see these watches and i see all the other hyped up watches I just don't understand, right? You know, I don't understand. Like, this is way better of an investment, in my opinion. You know, for your, for a timeless piece. So, um, for this last one, I don't even know how to pronounce it. So, so the Quantium Lunier Duomet. Um, definitely my favorite piece in store right now in boutique. Um, is of course home time on here. It doesn't have a second time zone, but it does have the moon phase and the date. Um, and if you look closely, it's actually showing you the rate that the escapement is running at, which is a sixth of a second. And then the open areas, the skeletonized areas, are actually power reserve indicators, 50 hours on each. I chose it because it shows off JLC's love and tradition of watchmaking in one. Um, no doubt. You know, they, no they're, you guys are known for having complicated watches. Um, and it's a, a very unique piece. You know, this is a very unique piece. I don't even want to know how much it costs. Don't tell me. <laughs> it's not as much as you think. Okay. <laughs> Maybe tell me later. <laughs> later, later. But, um, but yeah, this is my six. So I want you to leave some comments, like thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think about my top six JLC, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for visiting.